Hello everyone, Gabriel here, and today we are going to take a look at the new report split feature inside Kernel Scan. It is a actual real report split. It means that when we split our documents, they are going to be truly split, meaning we will have one image for each split we make. Let's take a look at how it works. Since this is a clean configuration, I don't have any jobs. So I'll run the job wizard and I'll call it true report split and then click on next. We don't need IntelliTag, we don't need accounts payable. I will just click on next now. We have multi image documents and I will be splitting them manually. I'll click on next. I'm just going to be using generic fields and click on next. Next again on the output and then finish here. And now I'm going to call it true report split batch one. And now that we have our batch and our job, let's start importing our document. I only have one document just to illustrate the new features. And you probably remember that document from our complex PDF table data capture video. What you're going to do now, instead of using a report split text trigger, we are going to use the new grid feature that is the true report split. The first thing we have to do is to set up a grid. So I have the first page opened here. I will click on the data panels button and enable the first grid control. And on the options, I will delete all of the data capture fields. And I have only one field that's going to be called table data. That's the field we are going to be using to capture the table data. Now, those two options down here, they are new and they are the new true report split features. We can export the rows as new images and we can even add the header. For now, I will just disable them just to illustrate how it works and then I'll click OK. I'll close the extra panel settings and now let's draw our grid over the original document. On the modules panel, we click on edit grid and I want to make sure I capture the header here. I will go up here and draw the grid over the document here. That should do. I will adjust the header. That's very important. Make sure it's nice on the correct line here. And now for the report split, we don't need all of those columns. I will just remove everything. And it's, it should be noted that the, the new feature works with multiple columns. It will export a different file for each column. But for this example, I just want to split the rows, not the columns. And now let's make sure that the grid is fitting all of our pages. I just move around. Or the first thing I have to do is make sure the, the table is set to use on all pages. That's perfect now. And now let's look at the other pages. It ends here. Very good. And now I don't want to use that text here. So the first thing I'm going to do now is a OCR trigger. Make sure it is selected, the button here. And then I will make a very nice generous area here. I will copy that text, that bit of text here. And I will just cut it from here because I want to set up the trigger on the regular expression. I will click OK now. First, let's name it table end. I just want to run it on the last page. It doesn't, doesn't make sense to run that trigger on the other pages. I can leave it as only an indicated type because that type of text would certainly only appear on this type of document if I had a setup with more than one document type. Now, down here on the trigger conditions, I will copy the text I just cut from the other window into on regular expression exist. I just click here and when I go out of the fields, you can see that it is here. The text is being detected. I will leave everything else as it is because I want to create a position reference. And then I will go back to the modules panel, click on edit grid so I can access the grid menu. And then on the table lower limit, I will choose table end. And as you can see, 
the table is ending exactly where we want. Now let's go back to the first page. The table is working perfectly. We have to set up our rows. As it is, we would have a different file for each row. So what we want is to start a row on that CO text here and the next one only here on the next CO text. The first thing, let's set this column to the table data field. Let's make it the master column, although it doesn't really matter for this application. And now what I'm going to use, I can use the value must meet a regular expression. I can use carriage return the text. I can even use probably fixed row size. And I can also use search master line. What I'm going to be using today is the value must meet a regular expression. And the regular expression is CO and two dots. When I click OK, you can see that Chronoscan is splitting the columns right under the CO. So all, all I have to do is just click here on the header again and split rows over the text. And you can see that's exactly what we wanted. I, if you try with other options on this kind of document, it won't have the results that we want splitting like this, but depending on your document, you have to use those different features. You can use the search master line again, or carriage return, or even fixed row size. What matters is that each row will be exported as a new document. And even when you have those different pages on a single row, Chronoscan will just put everything on a single document. And that's very nice. Now let's learn, learn how to actually split and create our new documents. I will click here on the options on the modules panel. And now it's time to enable those two options here. The export rows as new images will export the files to the path I will set here. I can use the variables window. A, a good practice would be to create a new folder called rows on your export folder. And you can even watch it with a hot folder. If you don't know much about hot folders, you'll be having a thumbnail here on the left or a card if you are on mobile on your right. Now, I will just copy this directory here and paste it here. And I will select export rows as new images. And since I'm not doing any kind of very special cut here or split, I will add header to each image. And that's a very nice feature, but you have to make sure you have the header correct on all of your pages. I'll click OK now. And what happens is when I click on read to read the grid, the new documents are going to be created. We wait for a little bit. Let's take a look at the folder I just set. As you can see, those new documents are being created here. We have row zero, column zero, row one, column one, column zero, row two, column zero. And if we take a look at those documents, we can see we have entirely new documents with the, all the reports split. That's the first one. That's the second one. And you can even see that very thin line where we have the passage from or where we go from one page to the other. And that's the last one. Again, we can see the very thin line where we go from one page to the other. So that's very nice. Now we could just go back to our batch or first we could remove our grid and then remove our documents, select everything and remove. And then you can see we have OCR files. We just select everything and import into Chronoscan. You can see the OCR files are just OCR information about each of those new documents. So that's it. You can, you can watch the rows. You can watch the rows folder with a hot folder and then process that. That's a very nice feature to have. And we are going to be having new updates on the new versions of Chronoscan. That's first, the first version of this utility, this function. 
but we're going to be improving on it very soon. So that's it guys, I hope you liked it and I will see you on the next tutorial. Bye bye!